Good morning. It is day two here at Motive. We are in the process of replacing our axle. If you are new around here, it's been a very long eight months for us. Uh, our axle had an issue down in Mexico that they fixed well enough to get us back to the United States. And now that we've been back to the United States for, I don't know, gosh, it's been a while. We're still having lingering problems. So what we're doing is replacing the entire axle, soup to nuts, axle housing, new gears, we're using as few parts from the old axle as possible, ones that really don't pertain to the axle itself. We're gonna, today, change out our brake calipers because we're here and they're crusty and they're rusty and they could be problematic in the future and then we're also going to upgrade our alternator so i've been carrying around this mechman 370 amp alternator since we went well since before we went to mexico i paid taxes on this alternator to get it into mexico because i still had it in the box and they thought i was going to sell it down there so today finally after owning this thing for almost probably two years this alternator. We're gonna put it in and uh, do the brake calipers like I was saying before, bleed them, keep it going, boom. So these are what are going away, rusty calipers. They're not too terrible, but when you're here and they're only $200 more given the grotesque expense of this whole project. So we had our pads and rotors replaced relatively recently, so we're gonna just flop those over, pads that is, um, to these new calipers and keep it going here. Nice awkward 11 millimeter. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. change. I gotta flop the pads over and stuff. So first part of the progress here on alternator change out. We took out our air filter, disconnected it from our turbo, and there's one other thing that's still somehow connected to this guy here that I gotta figure out and get out of the way. Alrighty, air box is all out of the way. I'm gonna disconnect the power line from the battery to the back of the alternator so that we don't make any unnecessary sparks and then gonna remove the belt and then we'll take the alternator out hopefully <laughs> So good news, my original factory alternator that has like 158,000 miles on it, no surprise, is starting to fail. It, uh, when I took it off, I noticed when I spun the pulley, this new one's super heavy, um, the bearing itself inside of it was growling and making some noises. Showed my buddy 
and gave uh, or let him take an audible listen and he agreed that there's a bearing in there that was going bad so that alternator would have went out at some point had we not been upgrading it anyway so i kind of got what i wanted out of it which was to <laughs> milk that factory alternator for a while since it, since it did do the job of charging up our house batteries um before putting this one in also i'm a procrastinator so here we are putting this new one in and i'm feeling feeling great about the timing of when i put it in feeling really good about what this thing's going to do performance wise at 800 rpms this thing's going to be kicking 215 amps that's absurd it peaked out at like 378 or something like that so that's way more than we'll ever need but it'll also really repre replenish our battleborn batteries super well and if we ever were to get a couple more in there which i'd love to one day or the bigger ones that would also help really charge them up when we're going down the road without killing our once factory alternator oh it's not even in what a dork there it is i still don't like the way that moves all righty so it looks like it's designed to wear when you crunch all this together with the bolt it'll snug itself up I'm just concerned about having any kind of play in the alternator because who the heck wants playing their alternator I don't love it. I don't love it, but it's aftermarket. Hard to tell if it lines up beautifully with the serpentine belt from here. I would say it looks fine. We'll know when it breaks. Thankfully, I carry a spare. Just a quick double check. We don't have anything laying in the way of success here. That's on. Wires there. Tightened down on the battery. Upgraded our cable size. All right, well, let's see if we throw a belt or something weird, which I doubt, but. So also make sure it starts and runs. Alrighty. Looks good out here. Well, let's go check our voltage. 14 volts alternator success shut it down before we shake this whole thing off the jacks i'm done for the day with my stuff Okay, so axle update here. Over here is where Troy set up the new axle. It's up on some jack stands. We got a cherry picker, engine hoist, whatever you want to call it, holding it up and steady. This is the old axle that had been put back together in Mexico that we're trying to get rid of. He's disassembled that in order to take just two very few small parts out of there that aren't going to affect anything, hopefully, in the long term that will keep us moving on getting the axle in place over here i don't know if it would be enough strength but if we put two two nuts or two bolts in there and then put like a pry bar in between them i was thinking maybe getting a bar and having to drill a hole in it yeah and then we can just bolt it solid to that and then maybe do what you said on this side because i don't know that i can get any yeah that'd be pretty precise 
to two, two just holes, freehand just, drill. Once we put the put that back in there, I gotta set up the backlash again. Gotcha. Well, a little bit of a uh, a multi-project day going on here. Stepped out to go get some sort of a specialty tool made for our ability to torque the crush ring down on this axle. I emphasize the crush ring because I couldn't remember the word and one. Secondly, they're really important. You get one shot at it kind of thing. Yeah, let me grab the pipe. Nice thing is I can take this back. Now I don't have to pay for that much of it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's pretty sweet. It's always hard. It's like I'm not patient enough to sit there and like frame every crazy shot like I'm actually getting paid for it. I'm like, I'll just throw it in there and whatever happens, happens. It's a ratchet, so you just pick oh, it up. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's working out better than I thought. Yeah, buddy. Good engineering on your part. You saw the vision in your head of what you needed and got her done. Okay. I still got some new place to keep going. We got a little bit. Tiny bit more. Okay. okay let's see what that's got for us. Okay. You're saying in here, or as you rotate, you feel it? Well, or as you pull in and out? As you pull in and out, you can see there's just a little bit of movement there. Yeah. So it's just, a barrel lever is going to take that out, and then you have to have just a little bit more to put a little bit of load on the bearings. Okay. You we, tell me when to stop, and... We, we don't want to go, we're going to go just increments. Okay. Time. I'm gonna underdo it until you <laughs> until you tell me I'm being a weenie. You know, just a tiny bit more and we'll check it again. Okay. We don't want to go too far. Right. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. That's about as much as we want to go at a time. Okay. In. I can, I can see it too in how you were moving it. Like last time when you threw it, it still had that bit of inertia yeah. that would allow for whatever, an eighth of a rotation, whereas now. We got we got just a little bit of preload on it. Okay. So now we can put put it back on the stands and we'll put the carrier back in. Sweet. And then we want to rotate huge. this whole thing so that as the sun comes around, you're not, or do you want to move it in? I'm just trying to think of the best way for you. You want to bring my eyes? Update. I'm sweating. Second half of the update. Things are going pretty well. We just installed the crush ring and everything went super smoothly. As you could see, had a tool fabricated by a machine shop locally that allowed us to put all the pressure necessary on the bearing assembly on the crush sleeve without having to fight being able to put that torque on it. 
It, it makes sense when you're looking at it. I'm over explaining. Uh, yeah, things are going smoothly. He's thinking probably end of the day. He'll have everything put back together. And then most likely it'll be a matter of in the morning, putting this axle underneath here, buttoning everything up together. Check out this diff. It looks a little, a little rusty in there, but that's because it's been sitting around now for a month before we got to put all this in. But new pinion gear, if I'm using the right terms. These adjusters, you had to have machine. They look a little shitty but we're getting there. And now I've kind of set it up so that it can work in the shade. All right, so day two wrap up here. I was able to get the axle all put back together. I am just painting it again because Ram does a terrible job at painting their brand new products. Good job, guys. Uh, we also got the calipers put in and we put in the alternator, so that's a win. Tomorrow morning before it gets super hot, I'll be out here starting to put this axle back underneath the truck. Joining me again when he gets here to finish putting this thing in and bleed some brakes. Should be a good day three and then we'll be back on the road. Deuces.